everybody and a very good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Cryofers TV if you've just joined us for the very first time today. Firstly, where have you been? Secondly, a very warm welcome. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us. Middle of the week already, and uh, we've had such a fun day today. Um, if it is tips on um, uh, kind of all things colouring, all things mixed media that you're into, uh, then this is certainly a, a great day to join us, and certainly a great day to go back and watch all of the uh, shows that we've brought you already, uh, from Wake Up Call right through to Colour Me Happy. And indeed, if you're live with us now, uh, of course, Beautiful Beginnings are well, sort of back to basic show, really. This was sort of uh, brought to fruition just off the back of, uh, I think, lots of new people watching and um, people kind of worried about sticking their hand up and asking the question because people think, oh, I don't ask a silly question. No silly questions. This is the show where you get to ask, even if you think it's the most simplest question in the world, ask it anyway, and we will get the answer for you over the course of this show. Uh, and also from Beautiful Beginnings, Essentials Corner was born, uh, and we will be heading over to Essentials Corner a little bit later on in the show to talk around well anything you specifically want to chat about but also uh, some core craft room tools and goodies that we've got on this show that we thought it might be quite nice um, to kind of talk around as well but if there's anything that you want to ask anything you want to see during the show uh, do feel free to get in touch and let us know and as always um, you can get shopping on the web everything on this show is on the shop the day page and uh, if you are shopping for individual items you'll find a little handy code on the web for you as well which is crown 20 because we're getting ready for the big coronation aren't we this saturday um king charles the uh, third and we're celebrating that by giving you the opportunity uh, to save a little bit of money loads of good stuff as well coming up as we head towards the weekend too so make sure you do stick with us i'm super excited about this all the uh, bunting's just gone up in our village actually so getting ready for a big big uh, we're not doing a scarecrow competition we're having it's a bit of a funny one actually because um, hello sheena by the way good evening lovely to have you back with us yes, thank you we're having a good lovely day aren't back. we Sorry? We're having a good day, aren't we? We're having a lovely day. We've yeah. got epic song references. Yeah, we found that we've got the same taste of music, and it's terrifying, but true. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll talk about that later on. Mm. Um, yeah, the uh, our village doing a little coronation thing. Yeah. We're doing it on the Sunday, which I find is a bit weird. Oh. Not on the because he's getting crowned on Saturday, oh. isn't he? Is it Saturday? Yeah. I, I don't know because with it being a bank holiday, I wasn't sure if it was Saturday, Monday, Saturday. Uh, mm. Yeah. But anyway, it's it's all good because it means you know Sunday get to do all the villagey coronationy things and then uh, bank holiday Monday as well. Boom. Not quite sure what we'll do to celebrate though, Nicola. Maybe we will make some scarecrows. Maybe that's what we're doing. Mm. I don't know. Um, but listen, we are here for a fantastic couple of hours. Um, we will have a bit of a chat uh, later on around some core tools, but um, more kind of demos from you and inspiration and hints and tips, yes, right? Yes, and about mostly based around colour because that's yeah. what I love. I love. I love to teach you some um, easy things that make all the difference and level up your colouring if possible. So yeah. we go easy and then we build on it and make it a bit more, well not difficult, just a little bit more kind of um, tips and tricks that will make it really pop. Yeah. That's the plan. That's kind of vague at the minute but you'll see, we'll start working through it. Oh, I like it when you start vague though because then we go off in different yeah, avenues, don't we? A, yeah, exactly. Take mm. you on a journey. Yeah. Oh yeah. A colourful journey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, already in this evening, we've got Mary Beth Doyle joining us from Minnesota. Lois is in from Ohio. Uh, Stephanie is in from Farmingdale, New Jersey, saying, let the fun begin. I've been to New Jersey. Have you? I have been to New Jersey. What did you Just do in New Jersey? Briefly, um, I went to a, a big place that um, did um, inks and ink pads and everything and um, for training many, many years ago. And it was really cool. I was based in New Jersey. And I did New York in a day. You didn't Can't believe it. New York in a day. Not the whole of New York in a day. Well, no. no. Literally, like, a couple of things in yeah. a day. That's all you can do in a day in New York. But I was determined to get across there. I did channel Barbara Streisand when, she was, when I was going across to, in, onto, onto New York. Yeah. Like, singing, you know, Don't Mean on My Parade kind of thing. Oh, I love that song. It's a classic, isn't it? That vision. That's the one. That's the one. Um, where were you based? Were you based in New Jersey then, were you? No, I was, that's where the, um, the, the factory was. Oh. And um, very famous inks and spare factory. Mm. And um, it was there uh, for a training session for three days. And it was lovely. I had a fabulous oh. time. So I lived in, lived in California when I was younger. And then um, got to visit New Jersey as well. 
Wow. Lovely. I would love to go. I've been to the States once before for our honeymoon. We did Los Angeles, we did San Francisco, yeah. and Oahu Ooh, in, cool. te in 10 days. And it didn't feel like we spent enough time at any of those no. places. There's so much, I loved, I loved, um, I loved uh, California, LA, fabulous. Because mm. literally you could have the, you go to the beach or you could go up to the mountains. You, know, yeah. you go, go and ski or go and sun yourself on the, on the, on the beach. Fabulous. And then theme parks and things like that as well. Oh, but yeah. Just gorgeous scenery too. Really pretty. Too much. As I, lo I loved Oahu because that was just like, you know, lazing on the beach yeah. for a few days. San Francisco just had a lovely vibe about it. And Did I, I would love there? to go back there. Yeah, I left your heart there. Mm. I did leave my heart there. Yeah. If you're going. Oh, I love that. To yeah, San yes. Francisco. Yeah. Be, be sure, sure to wear some flowers in your hair. Be, yes, exactly right. <laughs> My favourite rendition of that song is uh, when Sean Connery sings it in the movie The Rock. Uh, oh, Sean seen Connery? That. Yeah. No. We've yes. got to hear your impersonation of Sean Connery singing that. <laughs> it's old Sean Connery, though. Because he's older. He's a bit older. If you're going to San Francisco. <laughs> Be sure to wear a flower in your hair. Oh, brilliant. A, if you're going, it's from Scotland to San Francisco. Anyway, if you've seen the movie, you'll know that's quite a good impression. Uh, hello to Rhonda. How do we get onto that? Says, uh, can't wait to see what Sheena has got in store for us. Lillian says, hello, everyone. Hello, Ben. Hello, Sheena from sunny old London. 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 Uh, hi, Sheena and Ben, says Sherry Miller. Hi, Sherry. We, we were talking about your namesake in between shows. Yeah. Mrs. Miller. Sher Mrs. Miller. Seriously, yeah. You want to hear, like, you know, we had a, like, a, it was like, um, <laughs> real ID. We did it, uh, Parker versus Parker. Oh, You've God. heard nothing like Mrs. Miller versus Mrs. Miller. We had a sing along <laughs> in the style of Mrs. Miller, harmonising. Whoa. Can we just, I know this is a random start to the show, but anyone knows of Mrs. Miller, um, please can you let us know in the chat if you'd yes. like to hear us do our Mrs. Miller off, then uh, feel free to get in touch and let us know. <clears throat> Liz R's in saying, hi, crafty friends, just popping in before I have to pick my daughter up. Meve joins us from Dublin. Uh, Nanny to the girl says, happy Wednesday from Wisconsin. Uh, and Stephanie says, hello again, Ben Sheena team and our social superstar. Uh, Linda Harvey also joins us from Wales. Um, and Carletta is in from Arkansas. Um, right, let's have a look at oh, the yes. Colour Your World selection uh, which is what uh, Sheena is going to be demoing with first. Do you know the only thing that um, uh, disappoints me about this set is that um, it, it launched and then all of the consumables disappeared so super quick that I oh. never got to get my hands on them. No. Yeah. I don't even know what those consumables were Ben because they were I was not around at that point. So uh, well, I like just, those though. Th these are it was it was just an absolutely the most beautiful gorgeous smile uh, of a paper pad. You know, if you like, if you took like a beautiful, I don't know, the most happiest day of your life yeah. and put it into a paper pad. Happy colours. Yeah, it was yeah. in that. It was in that paper pad. But listen, you've still got a lovely selection of hardware here. Uh, if you've got the uh, paper pads, amazing, good on you. But look at what you can pick up tonight uh, that's left from this selection. Last chance to jump in and grab this as well. As far as I am aware, we do not have huge stocks of this available. Um, it is 12 dice, four stencils and embossing folders for $34.40 or $43.20 if you're platinum. This one is your floral rainbow. Beautiful um, creator card die big size and also you get the outer die with this as well so it's really nice if you do just want to cut straight into your card maybe do some coloring maybe do a bit of paper piecing maybe you create like a little shaker with that would look really nice but then you also get that outer die if you do want to cut out um, the uh, panel for use elsewhere uh, as far as dies are concerned you then also get that beautiful uh, pretty kaleidoscope once again uh, which gives you the ability to um, create that really wonderful butterfly border pop out the wings as well to create that depth and dimension You've got beautiful dyes in here to create little uh, rainbows and clouds. You've got the little water droplets in there and the umbrella, which is super cute. And then we get onto things like your embossing folders. That Rainbow Hearts embossing folder, absolutely gorgeous. Again, think about all of the colours that you've got within your ink pads and your pens at home that you can create something very, very similar to that at home. I have a funny feeling we might be seeing uh, these in action over the uh, show, potentially. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, might. Hey, what? we might. We might. We might. We might do. 
Um, the, by the way, those are your, um, you've got your balloons and your bubbles. The only way that you can get those two stencils is by grabbing uh, this particular bundle. Uh, absolutely stunning. Those are included. Plus, don't feel you have to. It's fine. Okay. We'll just gloss over that bit. We'll edit that bit out later on when we get to the actual... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, we'll just edit that yeah, bit out. I forgot that I said it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we're also yeah. going to give you uh, this beautiful uh, stencil and embossing folder collection. Um, £34.40, 43.24, that set, um, if you want to jump in and grab it. Um, Sue says, I'm in the process of uh, reorganising my craft room and I have to figure out where I'm going to put all of the items from my recent order, uh, especially from Sheena. Uh, and Sarah Ibbotson says, oh my goodness, this show is going to be a lot of fun. Fun it will be educational it will be um, let's make it nice and interactive uh, get the questions the comments coming in as well and if you want to hear us uh, do our mrs miller impressions feel free i would just be very interested to know if anyone's actually heard of her um, so let us know in the chat um, what are you actually going to start well, with well i thought we would start with that you know that one you were talking about that really pretty um, and you said there was a lovely paper for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, look, we've got a version here we're going to work through. Uh, it's very oh, pretty. Let me beautiful. take you down the thing. I'll show you. We'll um, have a play with this one. Yeah. So, what? Oh, put the fly on the floor. Put a oh, fly down. No. Put a fly down. Put a fly down. Put a fly down. Bear with. I'm coming back. It'll be all good. Do we get so, it? That's the cord. Look at that. that Just is look gorgeous. at that pretty cord while I retrieve said butterfly. Yes. Got it. Back. Okay. So, um, that's the idea so without the paper pack it still looks very bright and colorful don't you think Absolutely. so what i've done just so that we can look at more coloring you know how the die cut in how that's going to go let me show you the die so that you well you'll have seen it with ben but this is the actual die so we i literally pop this through with some um uh, centura pearl black cord oh, yeah right? so basically cut the whole thing and the outside frame because i wanted it to cut out in its entirety does that make sense yeah so put it through as it is with your centura pearl black then i've stuck it just because i wanted this to dry i've stuck it on there with tacky glue it's important that this is stuck down and i'll show you why what we're going to do now we're going to it looks like a, a stained glass window does it not it I does love that. it yeah. does so what we're going to do is we're going to color this with the ink pads because that's what we've been featuring all day yeah um you know the ink pads are so affordable it's such a good affordable way of coloring and if you started to collect um you know started your stamping journey your, your chances are you've got the water reactive ink pads i would imagine um so to be able to color with them as well you know if you haven't maybe started building up your your coloring collection yet and you know there's plenty to choose from absolutely use these for sure so i'm splodging some colors on here to start with and um, what i would say is we're using all the strong colors all the not the pastels the colors that have got the most vibrant amount of color to them yeah yes nothing subtle here it's the full-on color because in your face we can do we, yeah we can do subtle by just adding more um uh water to them ben so what we're doing is and we're going to do what a watercolor technique called wet into wet so basically what you do is we're just wetting these little cells of the um this flower here just mm -hmm. put some water in there and make sure that it gets it's really pretty well soaked and that cord is um acting like a barrier from one area to the next so once you've got that wet in there i'm taking some pink and i'm going to just drop it in and can you see how it's just blending and spreading? Sort of disperses, isn't it? It's fabulous, yeah. Yeah. And it just, it's a, just an easier way of blending your colours if you can do this wet into wet technique. Um, it's a, it's a, a technique that watercolour artists use frequently when you want colours to kind of um, smoosh in together smoosh in a seamless in. fashion. Yeah. Oh, is that the technical jargon? I like, um, well, I, I like it. Smoosh yeah, it in. Smoosh, yeah. Yeah. Nice to have like the die cut detail there as well to almost like help you colour in between the lines, if that's, you know what I mean. That's it. It's, really, it easier. it's a really easy way of colouring mm. because you don't have to keep within the lines. You literally can just pop it over there. The, you, if you go over the black, you won't see it because it's black and it's shiny. So it's going to, um, you know, repel that um, water colour. Yeah. And um, so it's just, just, if you're a bit not confident with colouring, this is a fabulous one to start with mm -hmm. because anybody can do this this is really really simple just adding that there put a little bit more purple in the base just to give it a little bit of contrast 
And I love how vibrant these colours are, Ben. This, this fuchsia is really, um, it pops, doesn't it? Gorgeous, so okay. just popping that on there. Um, I think that bundle is fabulous, as you were saying, Ben, for that, to get everything at that, yeah. um, at that price. It's, uh, when you're doing smart shopping, for me, that would be a one to go for, for yeah. sure today. Yeah, and it's nice because you get a selection of dyes, don't you? You've got an embossing folder in there, you've got some stencils in there of different sizes as well. So it's just a really happy, fun bundle. I, and I really love more than anything as well in there. The, the, um, you can sort of build your own umbrella in there, which I think is super cute. Oh, and you've got the little so rainbow cute. dye yeah, in there I love too. That. Uh, lots of fun to be had with that. More than anything today, I think, as well as we watch you just um, paint once again, I think you've just shown us uh, how much use you can get out of your ink pads. Yes. Do you know what I mean? If you've just you, you bought those before just to kind of stamp with the knot, you know, smoosh down like you've shown us here and get a paintbrush out and use, I mean, th there's just so many different uses with these and so much that you can do with these if this is the only colouring medium that you've currently got in your craft room, you know. Absolutely. And that, that you know, if you're, and also space, you know, if you're restricted on space, get these and then you can we've used these all day for so many different techniques and different um you know um types and styles yeah. of card and finish so uh, it, it but they've got to be good quality these are fabulous quality there's loads of color in them which is what we need there's really juicy they're, i mean they're fabulous ink pads i would absolutely recommend these any day of the week to anybody and they're my favorite now yeah ink pad for sure so can you see how we're just building that up? So we'll we'll put a little bit of water in this um, front in this uh, this one here, and it's just a case of wetting the cord. So making sure it's quite wet. Then we're going to drop in some colour, mm -hmm. and we'll make that pretty much. We'll put that one all over, and then we'll use a bit of that orange. So still keeping that really vibrant colour palette, and then you've got those happy happy colours even without the the paper pad. That Ben was talking about. Yeah. So, and that's how we're going to be going on, Ben, with that for a little bit. We'll just keep. Um, Beautiful. Uh, right. We'll say a few hellos whilst we're watching you. Sharon Horn says, Hi, everyone. I'm so glad I'm able to watch Sheena live. Yay, thank um, you. Thanks I usually God. have to watch later on, but I've cl she cleared her schedule for you today, Sheena. Oh, bless. Well, thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. We're having a great time. And it's, it's lovely having all this time that I've always wished I'd had to show you, you know, in real time yeah and tell you in depth properly all the the tips and tricks so that's what we've been focusing on today isn't it ben we've really gone um you know back to basics and then colored in in real time together yeah like an easy version and then a more advanced version so um everybody's got the confidence to you know to do that they if have. you want to and i think this is this particularly is a great demo to have on a show like beautiful beginnings because maybe if you are you know, fairly new to your um, your colouring. I think just using this dye, particularly as I said, is, is, is a great way just to maybe uh, get the confidence up. Because initially, you might have looked at that dye and thought to yourself, well, maybe I will just use it for, um, you know, to make like a little uh, shaker element with, maybe do some paper piecing with it. Maybe you never thought initially that you could use this absolutely fantastically to, you know, do some colouring with as well. So if it's if it's given you the courage to do that today, then amazing. Um, Kay Rester just says, this colour your world is one of my favourite ever collections. So ah. fun to colour and put together. Lovely. It is very uplifting, very cheery. And that's, I think that's what we want, isn't it? So yeah. Sort of like, yeah, be happy. Happy, happy colours. Happy and fun. Shiny, happy people, people. and colours. Shiny, happy people and colours holding hands. Absolutely. Um, and Nick Connie says, hello, Ben. Hello. Uh, this would be the first time that I have caught a show uh, with Sheena. Please oh. let me say in block capitals, welcome, Sheena. Yay. Thank you. Um, and already, oh, I like this. <clears throat> Couldn't have said this better myself. An already great lineup of talents, both front and behind the camera, gets one more. Oh. That's nice, isn't thank it? Thank you. That's a, I love it. It's a great team. Fabulous team. I'm so happy I'm back. I'm having a lovely time. Fabulous. Yeah. Talented, talented team, like you say, uh, front and back. Um, yeah. And Stephanie Theodore. And Theodos. fun, too. And what? Fun. Yeah, most of the time. you got to have fun. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. Uh, this method looks like great fun, talking of fun, says um, lovely Stephanie. It is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Very relaxing to watch as well. Um, 
just a very it's, mindful thing to do. It is. It's, it's really, it, it is a pleasurable thing to do. Now, what I'm doing, I'm going to colour this flower down here because I want to, what I would normally say is when you put a new ink out, that's hardly uh, got any water at all on it, so I'm okay to put that on there. But if you had water, if you diluted it, don't put your ink down again on a bit that you've diluted with water. Um, pick up a, clear it up and use a dry place to splodge some more colour out. Yeah. Um, but I'm okay here because it was just about dry anyway. And if you, at home, if you have something like a um, a towel or something, a towel, a tile, not a towel. A towel. Where did towel come from? A towel. Well, I don't know. Hello. Um, a, a tile. Yeah. Like a white tile. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing to splodge your colours on because then if you don't use all the colour, you can just pop it to one side and re-wet it and use it tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, Whereas, right, yes. Yeah. If you've got it on your craft mat, you're going to want to clean it up because you're going to want to do some more stuff on there and you don't want ink everywhere, do you? So, there, yeah, just a bit little tip there. So now what I'm doing is again, like that other one I just did, I'm putting quite a bit of the um, fuchsia, covering most of the petal. Yeah. Just like that. And, and it's so easy because you literally can just go right over the lines. You don't have to be careful at all because the black, it, none of these colors, because they're all translucent colors, will show up on the black. If they were the opaque ink, ink pads, definitely they would show up. But these ones, no, we're all good. Not so much. Not so much. Not I do so think um, you make this look very, very simple as well, by the way. I mean, I'm just looking at the colours that you've already got in the top left of the card there. I mean, this is fantastic. But yes, Nicola, it does make you feel like you could. everyone could give this a go. This is not yeah. too technical, is it, I don't think? Yeah, it's, um, it is really, really achievable. It's a good one to start with if you're a little bit like hesitant about colouring, uh, but think, you know what, I want to give it a go. Yeah. Honestly, make it this one. It's just it's such a, a, a good one to start with. And let's ask that million dollar question again today, because Sue's asked, and it's fine to ask this question again, because I know people are joining in all the time. Yeah. Uh, are you using water colour water paper? <gasps> and this one, um, yes, definitely. And that paper is absolutely it's divine i love it it's my favorite favorite ever paper that crafters companion have have created yeah it is superb if you want to learn how to color in well um from the get-go that pad honestly and the deal that it's on today don't miss it it's fabulous it really is and i pay a lot of money for watercolor card mm -hmm. you know with the all cotton or, or or you know and really expensive french um italian makes of card and paper and that is easier than any of the others i've used yeah it's it's, it's uh, and it really is lovely it <laughs> um colors blend superbly um, um bottom of, uh bottom on your screen is that deal for the pre premium watercolor paper pad it's a two pack but basically you buy one and you get the second for half price which is decent so it's 40 sheets that you get in total for £20.98 or $23.98. And as we found out earlier on, if you're gonna be doing this kind of uh, technique, you wanna make sure that you've got the correct and also best cardstock possible. Um, because you know what, if you're starting off with the cheapy rubbishy stuff, you're off to a losing start already, aren't you? Well, honestly, you know what I was saying earlier, you know watercolour artists, right? Yeah. There's three things that you, you need for your, for your, if you're an artist, a watercolour artist, you need paints. Yep. You need brushes mm -hmm. and you need watercolour paper, which is like card, yeah? What do you think the priority is for yeah. watercolour artists? For m most watercolour artists, what do you think is the first priority on where the cost's going? Where they, no compromise, get the best you can, yeah. and then compromise on the others if you need to. What do you think it is at home? Shout the, I know the answer because we did this earlier, but shout the answer at the TV. Are you saying paint, are you? Are you saying paint? Are you saying brushes? Those aren't yeah, the right answers, would say, are they? I would say paint or brushes. Yeah, yeah, me too. But not. It's not. No. You know what the first, pri the top priority? What is it? The card. The man. card. The card. Yeah. Because, and, and you know what? I know that from crafting. When I, many times in the past, I've been, uh, before we, we had a consistent supply of good card, you would go out to, you know, a shop or uh, find a white stamping card and think, wow, that feels perfect. I'll have all you have. And you come back with like a, a car full of it. Yeah. Like, you know, reams and reams of this card. And then you get home and you go, oh, no, it is not all that I thought it was going to be. For example, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's got a high chalk content in it and you can't see the chalk in it. But what happens is when you go to try and blend um, colour like this across the surface of the, of the uh, card, 
it's already grabbed it's going nowhere when i add that water nothing happening it's not moving that's when it's got you see when you can add color into it yeah if it's got a high chalk content it'll just literally set that color um, where it is and you're moving it nowhere and it's doesn't matter how good the paint is how good you are you're not going to get it to move that's, that's it. it it's not playing it's not being nice it's just mm. not not cooperating thank you very much so um you definitely definitely want a card with very low chalk content um and that's what a good watercolor card is it's also heavyweight it allows the paint to move across the surface and it also four bleaches brilliantly. I was doing that earlier today. Yes. So impressed with the four bleaching. So I'm just gonna pop that little bit in there. And then we'll pop a little bit of yellow and orange just around the, maybe not put it even across the whole thing. Just a little bit kind of semi-circle to give it a look of. And we'll leave the daisy white. But these oh, yeah. guys, we're gonna color those in with a little bit of the blue. Let's okay. use some ocean drive. Can't help it. Live on ocean drive. Has Sheena been going back to the future, says Terry Anderson? She has. Have been, yeah. She's been going back to the future. <laughs> Great Scott. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, they do call you Great Scott, Nicola. Oh. Um, these colours are vibrant and joyful, says Wendy. My friends say that they match my personality, and I will take that compliment. Oh, lovely. Um, Charlotte says, me and Gracie. So Gracie, your daughter, love this. So vibrant and bright. And Gemma Gregory says, wowzers just popped on. And I would never have thought to colour these in with water reactive inks. Yeah. How amazing. It, isn't it's, that great? Again, if people are kind of coming to that realisation today, we're doing our job. Yeah. It, you know what? It's that, that's it. And, and it's such a cost effective way to do it as well, because you're using very little ink you, yeah. you're just taking a little bit out of the ink pad onto a non-porous surface the glass mat yeah. or a tile or whatever and you're literally um painting with it and but it only works if you use again those strong colors not the pastel colors because when you add water then they go to white so you need something that starts vibrant and strong so then you can water it um down and get we'll pop a little bit of purpley color on these i think a little bit of that there there and um and that's it and it's, it's really it's all the techniques like watercolor artists use you can do with these inks and that's what i've been doing today different um you know different techniques each show and trying to mix it up for you so you can see that you can get a lot out of your investment especially when we've got the time that we're in the luxury we have like with these shows on wednesday to show you that which i love so then you've got a really cheery little card there this um now you can when that's dry we can put a bit of dry ink in on there to um like this one here but um i'm going to just paint these little two butterflies because they're from the other and set that just snipped out yes yeah and then we'll just pop that so those are from your stamps aren't they those butterflies no, they're no? from the they're from that little um extra butterfly um i don't know what it's called it's oh. the one that's uh, lots of butterflies together we'll oh the, the um Oh, is it is called it the, the kaleidoscope? kaleidoscope? Go. No, it's called. It's called what? Pretty kaleidoscope. Doesn't ring a bell, but we'll go with I that. I can tell you about this stuff. I just can't remember all the names. You know what? Same, 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 same. I just thought because you've got a uh, butterfly in the stamps that we had earlier on as well, but yeah. it's definitely not that butterfly. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a one, it's a die, and it's again, it's just using the same technique where it's over the top of the. Um, of the card so we're literally just dropping in the color yeah. kind of like a little stained glass window you know if you've done glass painting before and you use the the um the full lead you know to then um, make little cells that you just drop the glass paint into it's oh. a similar kind of technique sorry i've just tweaked what you said so it's a die as opposed to a, a stamp it looks it's a die yeah. yes it looks it does look stamped but again like you say it makes it easier to do that technique because you've got the little guidelines there the grid yeah, haven't you almost absolutely mm. and then what you can do let me just wipe this um ink up here and then um and then i'll show you what the card is that we just colored in in real time so fun to do something yeah. that um you know you can just batch cut stick them all down and then just have a nice little coloring evening yeah. mixing up the colors changing them out varying them um, the little ones could even play with these with you because you know it's really easy coloring and then you're going to pop that against a background like this like that yeah and then you've got your little butterflies that you can pop wherever uh, 
and you've got a really pretty little card. Now in this one, um, Debbie's actually blended some of the ink over and around there using a, um, the blending tool. But actually, I like to have a choice of the two and then you can see what it's like just clean white as well. I think that looks so pretty. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Back to um, Love Actually again. One more thing, sir. You know when he's buying the necklace and oh. he's like... Oh, I thought you were doing Columbo for a second. Oh, no, yeah, I hear one more. Yeah, exactly. Just one more thing. Isn't Vera a bit like a, um, an English female Columbo? You know, I've lost my sparkle pen. Isn't you know, when I said something fell earlier. Have you lost sparkle I pen? I it was my sparkle pen. Know, I've got yeah. more. I have reserves. I've got them everywhere. Bear with. Um, who did you say is like a the female English Columbo? Vera. Oh, Vera, Vera she's, yes. Because she's got the big dodgy coat, doesn't she, that Columbo used to wear? Yes, the trench coat. And she's doing the same kind of like, yeah, she just, you know, she just tells it like it is. I've got to be honest, I haven't watched a lot of Vera. Have you not watched a lot of... No. DCI Vera Stan a pet. Yeah. Oh. I like to watch it and play Spot the Real Geordie. Spot the Real Geordie? Spot the Real Geordie, yeah. Oh, if you're a Geordie, you yeah. can hear the ones that are pretend Geordies, and then you can hear the difference with the real Geordie. The people trying to do the accent, like, oh, like and me. They always sound like they go, well, yeah, man. Well, yeah. And it's almost like really, really, uh, you know, ex extreme. So there you go, a little bit of sparkle here and there, the sparkle overlay. So those little guys are now pretty and blingy. We might catch a little bit of bling on them. That's and then the little beautiful. other people, put them where you want them, anywhere a little bit kind of like quirky on the card. And that's our first card. I love that. And as they say up this way, champion. Champion pet. Yeah. I was so pleased the first time someone said that to me up here. I, I love that. I just love that expression. Ah? Huh? No, it was, actually, um, it was actually the lady that cuts my hair. Um, and actually, you know, they, they, they do the thing and then they go, oh, and then they get you the mirror and they show you the back of your head. I go, oh, so yeah, it's great. Thanks very much. And she went, oh, champion. Champion. <laughs> I've been trying to teach Maria Geordie, but trying to see, teach someone who, from no, the, the South Geordie, it's yeah. like the opposite of the um, Eliza Doolittle and Henry Higgins. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, she's already saying, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Yeah. And I'm going, no, it's the rain in Spain Spian. falls mainly on the plain. Yeah. And by, by George, she's got it. I see, I see actually. Sorry? Has she actually got it, is she? No, she's no. a bit rubbish. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the thing that I enjoyed the most when I moved up here, I think I've sort of picked uh, the accent up quicker than my wife, who's a Ch Cheltenham lady, and yeah. I just enjoy, because she's sort of very, you know, very well spoken, and yeah. um, I think she's found it more difficult to understand, uh, and we had a, a guy came round to give us a quote, because we were thinking about having our utility room um, uh, expanded, and uh, he came round, and he was a proper like he was talking like this like and he was yeah, yeah. divin I like and I'm getting there and I'm getting there and I'm getting there and everywhere and you could see that he was he was proper yeah, yeah, chatting yeah. and she was just nothing was just going in all, but she was nodding. Everyone else hears it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. actually, if I've been away a bit and I hear people talking fast yeah. to each other like that, sometimes I've got to wait and get my ear in again. Do you find you have to like drop the accent a little bit back yeah. down south? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is me talking posh. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just softness sometimes. Um, people tend to laugh at you because they just think, oh, she must be telling a joke like Sarah Millican. And if you look, if you, especially if you make your voice a little bit higher, you know, it's like they think that. It's, but it's, it's, I'm not saying anything funny. Sometimes I'm having a strop and people are laughing. It's like, stop laughing. It's not funny. I love the, I love the accent. I'm having a go. I'm having a go, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, champion. <laughs> Lillian says, where are Geordies from? Well, if, uh, official Geordies are Newcastle. Newcastle, aren't they? Newcastle's got to be on the, the, that side of the town in Newcastle, yeah. yeah. But within a short, period, short space, there's, there's, there's your Geordies, there's your people from Sunderland, which aren't, they're not Geordies, but you're only talking a few miles. Yeah. And then you've got Middlesbrough, you've got Durham, it's, it's, yeah. But people tend to think it's the same accent, but when you're from this area, you're no different from somebody who's from Sunderland, for yeah. sure. Or don't call someone from Sunderland a Geordie, no, whatever you do. Versa. Vice versa. Yes, and vice versa. Ooh. You don't want to be doing that. Yeah, and a derby day, it's like gunfight at the OK Corral. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, a few comments, and I'll recap on this deal for you. Um, Sue says, I have a whole bunch of acrylic blocks that were left over after making a chapel. Thank you, Sheena. I bought a two-pack yesterday. Two-pack. Fabulous. Um, really looks like stained glass, doesn't it? That's the thing that you can do with this dye, which is in this bundle. Um, Crafty Angie says, Sheena, um, I also love to watch Vera. Yeah, brilliant. 
Uh, gorgeous card, thank you, Sheena. And Sue says, uh, I think I also need to purchase tacky glue and matte black paper. I do not have much black paper craft stash left. Well, we do have it available for you on the web. Uh, get it stacked up. Uh, and good morning to Dieta, who's just joined us as well. Morning, afternoon, evening, even. It's evening here now. Fast approaching seven. Um, let's have a look at what you're getting in this collection. Beautiful um, 3D, emb 3D embossing folder, no less, uh, with your um, mass and sensors to go with it as well. And then you're gonna get two of your uh, larger sensors included here too, worth bearing in mind. It says, it does say on my notes as well that um, we don't have huge quantities of this last little bundle left. It was, so oh, well, <laughs> well, there you go, my notes were right. <laughs> We have less than, I don't know why I laugh like that, it was quite, quite a bit maniacal, that wasn't it? <laughs> We've got less than, <laughs> Sir James. <laughs> Um, we have less than 20 of these remaining, so uh, do go swiftly, friends. And if you want to get these two beautiful stencils, uh, you have to get the bundle because we only have them available in the bundle and less than 20 of them in there. This is beautiful too, your uh, Rainbow Hearts embossing folder. Uh, which is also included. This is my favourite, though, I think, in this set. Look at that, the look for rainbows, where you can create your own little um, uh, rainbow. You've got the little clouds in there as well. We've seen a lot of that recently up here, up north. Mm. And then, um, you know, create your own little umbrella with that, which I think is uh, super cute. Some really good little um, scrap bustery dies in there. You've also got your pretty kaleidoscope, which is those beautiful butterflies. And then the die that you will want from this set to uh, we create the last demo is this one here which is that uh, floral rainbow and as you can see you know, you've got the two dies there so you can cut straight into your cardstock or if you like uh, just cut that frame separately but what a great idea you know to use those ink pads uh, you know to do your coloring or as you've already said create things like those um, shaker cards do some paper piecing with so so super versatile and next well less than 20 people can grab this and then that is it uh, 34 pounds 40 is your price here in the UK if you're platinum $43.20 is your price if you're shopping in the US and you're a Platinum member, so don't miss out. Right, let us give you the opportunity to get your baskets checked out. Uh, fire in any questions in the meantime, if you haven't yet asked and you um, have a burning question you need the answer to, and we will uh, have lots more for you when we come back in about three or four minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. What makes Crafter's TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're, they're um, really skilled at what they do and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills 
Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for checking out your baskets, everybody. Uh, Roseanne's just jo joined us saying hello from Massachusetts. There's a song about that as well, isn't there? Oh, the Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Yeah. And the lights <laughs> all went down. <laughs> yeah. I loved your impression. Just do it again. Which one? <laughs> you know what it was my best one was when is what kind of fool with Barbara Streisand? Because Barry Gibbs sings it in the back and she sings what and he goes. <laughs> and it just sounds like a duck quacking in the background. He's saying what? <laughs> I don't know. You gotta hear it. <laughs> 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 I can't get that on my head. <laughs> anyway, uh, Roseanne is in from Massachusetts. It says, uh, hello to Sheena, uh, Ben and the entire team and all my crafty friends. Hello. We're one of those sort of funny, funny moods tonight. Um, you can tell it's, yeah, Lily, Lily home time. Um, we're going to, I think... Aren't we? Yes, going to stay with the Colour My World yes. collection. Yes, we're going to use the stencil because it's so cool, that stencil yes. is fabulous. We've shown one of the dies, I thought we'd show the stencil, but in order to get that we've got a little bit of quick information and then we'll get to the stencil. How does that sound? Absolutely. Alright, so the quick information yep. is I've used some of the Paint Fusion stamps with baby blue because I'm stamping it so that you can barely see it. And I've just got one more bit leaf to put on here. Now, don't worry about them overlapping because the point being that these are supposed to um, kind of, um, we're not gonna keep that stamped line as the predominant line. You're gonna, you're gonna ink over them, all right? So with the fine liners, I'm just gonna do this really quick. I've got one I've already prepared. Yes. All right, so it's not gonna take ages, but we do need to do it. So for example, if I want this leaf on the top here, I'm gonna just continue with this like that and maybe pop a little bit and you see how you can just use it as a guide yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. and make it any way you want. So that's just a little bit more natural looking, but we've got that there and then we can pop a little bit and just don't have to follow all the lines on there. You can do your own thing, but I'm speed drawing here just so that we can get some um to the point where i can show you how we would move on yeah now these here you wouldn't be doing all of every single little kind of um little bit of flowers that's on this you're just going to do this in a kind of abstracty almost fashion just to give it some kind of definition mm -hmm. and then with the odd flower we'll just pick out the odd one like that See, and just carrying on. So that's the lilac, isn't it? It's the lilac, yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna show you how we're gonna join it up together. So as long as you just put some of these little guys in here and keep them a bit wibbly wobbly, it looks more sketchy that way. Mm. Um, we can pop that like this. So we'll have this one 
kind of hanging over the other one we'll make this leaf again a one that will come in between there so this is just coming showing between because it looks more natural if you can give it a little bit of you know overlapping like that yeah um very quick speed scribbling here but it serves the purpose so then what you want to do is you need to connect all these so if you think this has got a little twiggy kind of branch it's kind of it's going to have a little bit of a um you know ways to join that spray up isn't it into that thing and then this one's got another one coming up here so we can put that there and then join that to this mm -hmm. and then this guy here can come across and maybe he can come over this kind of thing and that's what you're gonna so that's how you're gonna kind of join that up this is absolute speed drawing but you I'm can see it. how now that's coming together yeah so that one there we've said this one's at the back that one's at the front and literally just picking out some of the flowers not all of them and okay. moving it along to one i did earlier pa, pa, pa. Okay. Wow. so now we're at the point we can color in and do a little bit of the um, technique with that stencil yes so before i do the color of the lilac i'm going to color the background so I want some lightish colours here. I need some new, um, probably little colours on my ink pads. That green's fine, bear with. I need to find... Oh, am I the only person who washes these? Oh, no. Do other people wash them? I think, other, well, I say I think, I know other people do. Good. Um, yeah. Because you can, you can put them in the little... You can put them in the washer, can't you, in the little bags? You can put them in a bag or just put them in the sink with a little bit of, like... Washing up like uh, this, okay. Yeah, works too. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was always in. You know, um, yeah. some washing machines you put. Oh. You have a little satchel, little satchel, little bag that you put the. Yes, your delicates in. Delicates in. Yes. Or yes. your or your smalls. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you call them? Yeah, the smalls. 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 <laughs> right. So we can pop some colour in the background. So it's just a case now of picking up some pretty colours that you think would look quite ethereal and oh, pretty. That's what we're going to say, pretty. Right, so let's pick up some of this um, grasshopper. Grasshopper, yeah. Yeah, we'll pop some on there. Now, can you see how you can really be delicate with a blend on this card? It is such a forgiving card. Not if You can tell if your card's tricky if you can't get a light application without yeah. going to the glycerin. That's usually a telltale that you, your card isn't playing as nice. It's a great way to to um, fix that with the glycerin. I'm so pleased I come up with that. I don't know how many years ago, Ben, with that one. Um, and I was so heartened when I came in the studio and saw you had a big bottle of it. Yes. I thought, yay, fantastic. But that was born on the back of me using glycerin for the faux leather technique. Oh, um, right. Um, so yeah, and I thought, right, I started researching, of course, what glycerin does and how we can make it work for us. And one of the big things is that it, um, it, it attracts moisture yeah. and it also thickens and slows down the drying process. Yes. Um, actually, I've used Spring Meadow is what I used there, not the Grasshopper, sorry. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of o Oasis here. And, and it's yeah. um, not any specialist glycerin, is it? It's nothing. It's just regular glycerin. Regular, yeah. um, you know, cheapest chips, go to your pharmacy and get some glycerin. You can yeah. buy it online as well. And you don't need to pay a lot for, like, the food grade glycerin. No. Um, it's it's odorless and non-toxic and they use it in a lot of um like makeup products like hand creams and things oh uh, yes yeah. there was a famous um kind of makeup brand that used to get rose and glycerin hand cream every christmas it was the one that rang at the doorbell and they called oh yeah my auntie used to do that did she yeah every year i had that i had um rose and glycerin hand cream your mom said every year and i had um pretty peach was another one that they did what um, so did they did they literally come to the door with like a, a catalogue was it or yes this, uh, yeah what, and it was ding dong yeah and um yeah and i had this little i remember my pretty peach every year yeah and it had a little peach kind of top on it this um pretty peach and what was kind of confusing when, for a young one, right, is, you know, I had a, it was a little brooch that was like a little skunk, but it was perfume, so I thought that messed with my head. That, was that teaching me as a kid? Thinking that skunks are, are wonderful to smell? Yeah. No. You don't want to smell not. a skunk. That's like, yeah, the opposite of what a skunk should be doing yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was greatly confused, Ben. Talk about, I mean, all the confusion that we uh, heard from you earlier on with your poppies, now skunk perfumes, I mean, come on. I didn't on. need any more confusion. You didn't need any more, did you? No. 
So I'm just going ahead and just blending some more of this out there like this. I don't want, I want this background to look um, pretty, but I don't want it to be overtake the, the colour that I'm going to put in the main flower. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it like kind of a, a bokeh effect, you know, with the um, circles. Uh -huh. That famous kind of like photography effect. So putting some colour on like that, and I think I'm going to dull it down a little bit with a little bit. It sounds awful, but I think I'm going to use a grey colour. Grey? Yeah, I might use some of the, that, no, not that, the anthracite. Where is it gone? Oh, there you go. It's not like I wasn't, haven't kept it tidy or anything, is it? Uh -huh. <coughs> so, oh, I've just, right, you know what I've just done? Oh. Something that you never want to do. Pick up a little bit of moisture that's on the mat. It could be the water oh, or your okay. inks or whatever. If you do, you get this permanent line on your creation. Yeah. And it's so hard to get rid of it. You've just about impossible. saved it, though. You've done it. Sorry? You got rid of it, though. Almost, almost. That was uh, sheer perseverance there. But it that's really is tricky to get rid of it because it... Um, it instead of it sitting on the surface of your cord, it goes into the core of your cord and you um and that's what the problem is is you, so you can't move it across it's kind of gone into the into the very depth of your cord so oh, we've got this going on there it's what i wanted it to be it was too bright before now it's much more neutral but it gives the impression of foliage colors in the background yeah absolutely yeah yeah <laughs> bear stay with it ben stay bear with, with. bear with bear with um, you can put a bit more green in that if you want. You know when you see, like, the trees, you never see a branch in isolation, do you? You always see more foliage going on. There's always something else going on in the background. So that's the impression I want to give. So I'll put, maybe put a little bit more green in if you're not feeling it. We'll put a little bit more. So then it starts to look like there's something going on. Woodland. Right. If not a thing, it's just a pretty colour anyway. Mm. So we'll pop that there. And then... We'll use the, um, when we come back, we'll make a little bit of a vignette around the outside. We'll get the um, stencil, which is here. And we're not going to use the balloons, we'll use the circles. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't really see how the balloons would fit here, but circles, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. And we'll pop them on there. And what we need is some way to, like, lift the colour out a little bit. Yeah. So you can use, like, a baby wipe will do it. Okay. Yeah, baby wipe will do it. We haven't got any baby wipes handy, but I do have a piece of kitchen paper, which if I put some, this water is, like no longer that clean but we'll see how we get on with it and you literally are just going to dab through like this and then when you lift it up you've got that oh, clever. lighter area what, and what is that just normal water just water with, is it? yeah and this only works if you've got good quality card that is not got that high chalk content that's going to lift nicely and play nice for you so if we lift that up there oh, yes. if you put too much on it'll not be circles it'll be more kind of like um uh, it'll just splodge out. You'll use the, lose the definition of the circle. So less water on your piece of kitchen paper, which is where the baby wipe is really cool because it's just damp enough to lift the colour. Yeah. And you don't want all of the circles on there. You just want some of them. And you, probably the larger ones more than the smaller ones. That's such a cool effect. It it's looks cool, a bit like, it? you know, like when the sun kind of like shines yes. through the branches yes, in the early right. morning and you yeah. get just the little streams of light coming through. That's yeah. what it looks like to me. That's it. That's what we're, that's what we're, we're going for. You can emphasise them more if you want later with the, you know, like um, fall bleaching them a bit further. Yeah. But that one's a little bit, we can pop that over there and let's try and make that a bit neater. Um, and again, it's a very sort of non-specific technique, isn't it? Like easy it to easy to have a go at and have a try at. Really easy to have a go at. That's uh, yeah. It's 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 just so doable. It's not mm. one of those things that you've got to get lucky. You know, one in ten times it'll, it'll work for you. And so keep your fingers crossed, stand on one leg, and hope the planets have aligned correctly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you should. Um, you know, you should have success with that. So you've got those little kind of ethereal kind of um you know lights and little orbs orbs yeah coming through and i'll just leave it about there and then we'll color that in should we color the lilac in and see oh how it yeah it's done why not yeah and we can make that background look a little bit darker as well we can play around with that but that'll do for the for the start of it so the lilac what we'll use is we'll start with some fuchsia yep and we'll pop some of that on there and we obviously want a dark purpley colour. We'll use the crushed velvet. Yeah. Put that in there. 
and likely we're going to use the dark blue as well Pop this here and we'll start with that okay so we'll start off with the, the fuchsia again because we want that lighter color and again you see here this little this bit of green that's kind of there yeah if you've got that great paper it's going to lift look see it's lifting that color up really mm -hmm. brilliantly so we're not going to have green showing through the um the flower it li literally lift up really well well li let me lift this bit here just to keep that nice to back to where we want it to be all right now we'll wash over with some pink because this is going to be the lightest tone okay? yeah don't worry we can always darken it. if you put the pink on it oh no but it's nice to have a little bit of pink maybe showing through there yes so again you can see how i've used scribbly marks here to it doesn't have to be um it looks better if it's not perfectly drawn when you when an artist when you draw trees you don't draw every leaf on a tree you you create a texture that gives the impression of the leaves on the tree yeah uh-huh and that's exactly what you've done. Well, what I've done with the lilac is given it that little, as if it looks like little marks that look like individual petals, but not full flowers. So just repetitive marks, the odd full flower to make it look um, like you know you've got um, it. Actually, is what it is. But um, yeah, so that there, and then we can pop a little bit of purple into. So this is a wet into wet technique. Okay. So by popping that in there. We've got starting to get texture coming through. Yeah. And so darker at the bottom and under where that leaf is going to be casting some shadow as well. So it's all very similar to the tips and tricks you learn with, when you're using things like your tri blends, for example, isn't it? Just learning yeah, where that shadow is, light first. Yes, absolutely. You can always darken, but yeah. making putting the light back there is a whole other ball game, which isn't a good one. <laughs> yeah, don't want to be playing that ball game. Yeah, don't don't go for that ball game. Um, ball th game there's yeah. loads of love for this effect, by the way, and a lot oh, of people brilliant. just um, think it's so cool that you've used the stencil. Like Beth says, that technique is cool. I've never seen ink being removed using a stencil. Yeah. Um, Sue, ca Sue says, I love the effect with the circle stencil. Sharon says, it almost looks like some twinkling fairies. It yes, does look it like twinkling be. fairies. It's lovely for fairies too, yeah. yeah. It gives it a really nice... Um, kind of uh, ethereal kind of look yes yeah. and it's uh, the, the trick is to just have your paper or your baby wipe very not wet at all build it up take your time don't try to you know lift it all off in one fell swoop just build it just go over the don't go over and over so that you're removing the surface of the card though either you don't want that to happen yeah so you know um just be be aware of that build it up buttercup yeah build it up buttercup yeah yeah why do you that's it, foundations. Yeah. About 1971-ish. So now we've got that there, yeah, mm -hmm. classic. Great so tune. We can colour in the leaves now. So we'll use this grasshopper and we'll um, use some of the, um, maybe there's a dark green, but smoked emerald. Now this is a cool green. We might want to, I'm running out of room. We What's might... the blue you've used there as well? Is that the mid midnight? The blue, yes, it's yeah. the midnight, the one that's in the bundle, Ben. Bundle Ben. Bundle Ben. Bundle Ben. Ben Bundle. So we'll pop this on here. Mm -hmm. I love that green. That's a, such a pretty green. So just painting that on like this. And beautiful. Uh, beautiful lilacs. Love using the stencils like this. Is K. Um, Sue says, this is a big word. We've been using this a lot today. Sue says, I love the effect. It looks so ethereal. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Um, love the colours on the background, says Sharon. And uh, what a great idea with the stencil, says Sharon Horn. Uh, and water on the paper towel. Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, it's it's just all these little things that you go, oh, okay, that's easy. Oh, it's a great technique, but it's an easy technique, and which is what we want. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to keep that little highlight in that leaf there, and then do the same with these other ones. And pop that like this. Um, Again, we want that um, a little bit. We use that little bit darker green in amongst that. Coming and do together the same beautifully. This last leaf. Um, also, hi to uh, Sue. Says Sue Cummings. As a child, I always loved to watercolor. My mother couldn't pull me away uh, from my artistry. 
Um, wow. I've just bought another set of premium watercolour paper. Well, as you've heard, it's the very best of the best, our premium watercolour paper. Yeah, it is lovely. It really is lovely. Mm. Uh, very, very good. And I've, and I've, if you if you do watercolours, you know there's there's two big brands. One especially that's French. That's the one I normally buy. Yeah. Um, and it's it's really really expensive. Oh, is it? Um, fabulous yeah. quality. Um, but um, this is absolutely lovely to use. You'll be really um, pleasantly surprised if you get this. So now we're just putting a little bit of that effect of the, um, the branch there. So it looks like it's attached to something. And um, we can, what I would do is I would um, definitely make the outside a little bit um, darker so that it makes the, um, the inside look a bit lighter. So I'll dry this and then we'll go around with some black. This could actually, we could need, this could be a bit lighter in places. So I don't know if it's going to still lift, but we'll have a we'll have a try. Yeah, we've got a little bit lighter yeah, going. Yeah, it's incredible. A bit lighter bits going on. I can't believe that I'm seeing this before my very eyes because I just I the effects and the techniques you're showing us here, Sheena, are incredible. Thank you. It's like alchemy. Thank you. Mm. They're pretty though, aren't they? And, they and are. speed speed crafting in the time. So what we'll do, I'm going to dry that. I'm going to ink around the outside and then we'll we'll pull it together. I'll wipe this off if I can. Would, so you'd I'm normally take a lot longer, would you, if you were doing that at home? Yeah, yeah, you should take a little bit longer. But you can see how you don't have to to nah. make it look pretty pretty good. It's not bad in the time. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not I'll too bad. I'm going to wipe gel pen on there. What we'll do is I'm going to dry this, clear this up, yep. then we'll finish it off. We'll put a bit of white gel pen on there. We'll dock around the outside, and that should be it. Uh, another demonstration for this show. Oh, my goodness. I mean, amazing. Just whilst uh, we're doing that, we can uh, apparently have a look at some of your pictures as well. But there's some lovely comments coming through. And by the way, if you want that lilac, uh, that stamp is within the uh, the stamp bundle uh, that Sheena's brought to us. It's on the Shop the Day page. So you've got the um, stamps on their own if you want to go for those. Uh, we've also still got stock of our uh, Showstopper deal as well. That's the pick of the day where you get all of the stamps within in the collection uh, the lilac is just there um, but if you decide you know what I like the look of all of this um, you can go for the uh, the pick of the day bundle um, we'll get the details up for you just here but you get all of the stamps you've got all of these tools um, and the, the pick of the day basically works out that you get all the stamps all the tools right here as well um, and you only pay half price for the tools so if you were to pop these into your basket as like your own bundle you pay twice the price today though we give you the rocker blocks there we go 20 sheets of that premium uh, watercolor cardstock art liners in there too which you've seen Sheena using so much today um, the misters the uh, blending sponges and one of our uh, waterproof ink pads get all of that within the showstopper plus get double points as well uh, but you've only got to, uh, I think, that, that will come off before 8 o'clock tomorrow morning because it's 24 hours, basically, um, that you can get the pick of the day. It'll be a brand new one tomorrow. So it's 55.17, 71.17. Uh, and, of course, if you just want to go for the stamps on their own, uh, that is an, uh, an alternative bundle that you can go for as well well uh linda says sheena is amazing if only i could watercolor as well i think you can i think yeah. the more these shows that you watch and the more hints yeah. and tips that you pick up yeah. it's just being brave and having a go isn't it that's more it anything. just have a go absolutely yeah. just you know just you you're probably better than you think you are yeah we're, all, we're always our own worst critics aren't we that's that is it um kay says all of sheena's paintings are too nice to be used on cards they need to be framed and hung i did say that earlier like um one of the, the, the cards that we saw earlier pop it in a frame um, stephanie theodore says you are a speed painter for sure stunning sheena <laughs> thank you speed painter um we've got some of your projects here uh coming through so let's have a quick look at these uh linda warren i'm loving your style here paint some wine glasses wow cool. oh yes why Gorgeous. not Fabulous. Oh, wow. So all you do is change the paint up. You can change it and use a, um, there's a ceramic, opaque ceramic paint. Yeah. And I, used to, I sold lots of these before I did TV, many, many years ago, way before I did any television. Um, you're talking 20, 30 years ago. And I would get in an expensive glass, paint it up. There's a, a, an, a, a paint that you can pop. You paint your glass, let it dry, put it in a domestic oven. Oh, right. Put it on, turn it on to 150 degrees. When it comes up to temperature, you leave it half an hour, you turn the 
the heat off, let the glass cool down, and then it's actually usable and washable. Ah, so what sort of paint would that be? It would be a, it's a ceramic um, um, a heat. Um, there's different different makes. Pebby will do one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That and, is incredible. And we'll maybe see about maybe the possibility of bringing that in a future show. It would be really All cool. All right. That Watch this space. But in the meantime, Linda Warren, amazing. Yeah, fabulous. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Now, next up, this is a robin that built a nest over Nancy's sensor light and it comes on and off all day and all night apparently what the robin does ah uh, uh, whenever the ro is that a robin oh so hang on a minute so that's a real picture of a i can't really get my bearings that around that picture yeah, behind the light. I think it's, doesn't it build a nest on top of the light? Yeah, I just can't. And then it's just shown its little head over the top. Ah, going, my brain ah, can't ah, quite unscramble that picture. Ah, but yeah. Ah, yeah ah, <laughs> ah. Um, <laughs> Stevie Crafty Hands. Stevie Crafty Hands. Oh, now Stevie Crafty Hands. These are, oh, this is Stephen. So I know Stephen. These are the, um, the cut in cut out dies and the deep border dies used together now i love the uh ma sort of marriage of uh, different products you've used here that's incredible i particularly like uh the birdie used with that beautiful um that was the spider webby one i can't remember the name of it but that looks incredible and then the swans on that uh, background there with that uh, the beautiful um uh, die from from the uh, deep border dies is incredible i love that set big fan of the white space uh, I think I said recently, I love that kind of white space and just, you know, um, layering it up with all the different flowers and the swans on there. Absolutely love that, Steve, um, Stephen, Stevie Crafty Hands. <laughs> um, amazing. Sarah Ibbotson, take a look at this. That is incredible. Upcycling a box using Sheena's technique from last week. Oh, wow. That is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Were you doing that last week? Um, I was using, um, yes, I was using um, a different uh, paint effect techniques. Yeah, it was really good fun, Ben. Yeah. That's Sarah, cool. that's amazing. Uh, oh, and th this again, uh, you did something similar the week we were together, I'm sure. I think this was the, from the first week, wasn't it? You Which did this technique? That? Yes, that was from week one. That is gorgeous. That is a really lovely, really lovely version. Abs well done. Love it. Sarah, you have been busy. And then look at this one here with these um, beautiful balloons. Again, um, using the art liners there by the, uh, the look of it, Sarah. But thank you for sending in the pictures. Those are absolutely brilliant. Love that so much. We do love a gallery. Thank you. Uh, yeah, gorgeous, fabulous. says Lois. Um, and all the pictures, says EB, are so nice. So there we go. Right. Next up. Uh, oh, yes. Let's well, go back to... I totally forgot that um, we're halfway through a demo, aren't we? Well, what, what I've done, Ben, just to so that we can just save a bit of time, I've um, made the, the outside a little bit darker with using some um, uh, the, the black um, ink. Just, yep. And by doing that, it makes the inside look a bit lighter. And I just want to add a little bit of white here and there. I don't want it too... So what, what you can do with these pens is if you're quick... You can pop the colour on and then quickly just smudge it out a little bit so it's less um, solid edges, yeah? Just a little bit more of a texture highlight so it looks like some of the flowers have got a little bit of a highlight to them. Yeah. Um, but not too many. It's just a suggestion of texture. And then I would say you've got to say enough's enough, I'm done, put the pen down and walk away, oh, not quite, we'll put it, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> step hang on, not step quite. Step away then from we'll, the pen. Yeah, step away from the pen, nothing to see here. So what we'll do is we'll just pop a little bit, again, you've got to be really quick with this because it does dry quite quickly, but we can pop a little bit of a highlight if you've lost a bit of the white, like that, see? And it makes it look a little bit more, kind of, so if you, if you have gone um, a little bit heavy on your colouring, you think, oh, I've I've got no white paper showing left. That's where this fabulous marker is going to come in and help you out. Yeah. Like on the top of this, these little branches and things. You don't want a hard, hard, solid line like that. So what you'll do is just pop it on, scribble it, give it a little bit of the 
um, encouragement like that and we can put a little bit highlight on there and that there will be another little demonstration that we've done that is just brilliant I've got to tell you that is amazing isn't it that is, inc that is incredible I'm I've lost I'm almost lost for words again happens on Wednesdays whenever she is in town <laughs> No, so I don't say you can't much. get a word in edge with, that's why. <laughs> um, I've been watching you both all day, says Colin Posadi, and I know I've been doing other things around the house, but I have watched both shows and now this one. Fabulous Wednesday, says Colleen. Thank you, Ben and Sheena. Thank you. Um, and lots of love for your uh, pictures that came through as well. Fabulous, says Terry. Uh, Me says, gorgeous, Sarah. And wow, Sarah, that is lovely, um, says Sharon Horn. Um, yeah, Sarah Ibbotson sending in loads. Oh, and just a question. Um, yes. So Stephanie was asking, um, you know when you were stamping, sometimes mm -hmm. we see some of our crafters uh, use a, um, a stamping, a stamping uh, mat. mat underneath. Like so a Stephanie squidgy. was saying, why, why did you not use one? I don't need one. With the rocker blocks, it's you're stamping not on pressure. Mm. You're stamping on that rocking motion. If you haven't, I would, if I'm using a flat acrylic yeah. block, for sure, because something's got to give. It's like tyres on a car. If you drive a, a car without tyres on the road, it's bumpy, bumpy, and you're not making in contact with all the little pits and valleys and grooves so you need that dense foam underneath if it's just flat like that but with rocker blocks the pressure that's exerted because it's all on a very fine axis mm. from one area to the next whether you rock back to forward or forward to back you don't need that it's putting extra pressure so yeah hope that answers the question just yeah. don't need it um and make sure you do drive with the car with tires on i do yes you do generally Preferably, yes yeah like, yeah Maybe not with a stick shift, but definitely with tyres. Yeah. Uh, definitely going to be watching today's shows back, says Kim. Sarah says, thank you. This is Sarah Ibbotson. I'm just loving Wednesdays and Sheena's demonstrations. It's like going to art class. Isn't it? It's like going to an art... It is like going to an art class, except you're getting it for, getting it for free. Getting it for free. Uh, lovely, says Tess. Lovely, Sheena. Beautiful. Thank you, Sheena, says Lois. Uh, and Sue Cummings says, everyone, what beautiful pictures. Um, Stunning sample, fa fabulous. The things you've been making are really gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Talented bunch of you, isn't it? Amazing. They? Love it. Now, uh, glossy highlights. We're going to have a look at these with um, Sheena. Are these still on the buy two, get one? They are. Uh, buy two, get one free. Now, up until a few weeks ago, um, I'd, I'd seen these used um, on a sort of multiple shows, just again for adding that um, highlight, um, you know, beautiful for things like, you know, adding that um, highlighted effect to maybe uh, flowers or maybe as a cute little raindrop. Uh, really, really nice as well if you wanted to kind of uh, get that sort of glossy effect with a little bit of glitter and adding to it. Seen these used in lots of different ways. However, up until about three weeks ago, I had never ever seen these used to paint with. Uh, and Sheena pulled this amazing demo out of the hat and we were all left with our jaws on the floor. Um, if you haven't seen that demo, go back to the first week with Sheena, which will have been the 12th of April. And I think it was in this show, actually, this time, Beautiful Beginnings. Um, but glossy highlights, um, all three of those you're going to get for the price of two at £9.58 or $11.18. Um, are we going to see a quick demo with these now? And are you going to be painting again I was going to stamp on here now I don't know what the um where's the permanent ink this black ink on to here I've never stamped on an acetate with this so I'm hoping you guys know if I'm going to be okay stamping on acetate yeah it's okay about the middle that's yeah. fine I can live with that and I was being very tentative I should have been a little bit more um definite with that and let me just pop one little leaf on the side of this uh yeah, and then we'll do a little bit of colouring in. Let me show you what we can do with that. How's that, Ben? Yeah? Sounds like a plan, Stan. Okay, we'll pop that on uh, there, maybe just a little bit there, like that. That'll do. That'll do to, 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 to show, because it's a little, a quickie, a quick demo. Um, lost the lid, put it there. Let me dry, oh, it's not heat resistant acetate. Right, here's the thing. This is um, the heavyweight acetate. So yeah. when you're drying, if you need to heat set ink, which sometimes you do, just to give it a little bit of encouragement on drying time, because it's a non-porous surface. Uh -huh. Be aware that it's not heat resistant. So hold your heat gun way back. And whacked. And hope for the best with that. We, we might, it might still not be dry enough, but we'll go with it. Okay. Just saying. And even with heat resistant acetate, it's not like Captain Scarlet indestructible, Ben. No. You need to, you still have to be careful. Don't like 
be like an inch from it because it'll still will wibbly wobbly. Okay, right. So if we want to colour that onto this acetate, got so many random theme tunes in my head after oh, today. Is, it's like you've got all, they gift to you all of these. You can't get out your head all night now. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> They're going to sleep. So what we can do now is we can colour these in. Um, but can we onto acetate with ink pads? Don't be silly. Yes, you can. Though. You can. You can. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. So I'm going to put a couple of colours there. We'll do a vibrant one, and we'll do a bit yellow as well, Ooh. and a bit of green maybe in the in the middle. Right. So I've got three colours on there. Yeah. And if I try to paint uh, with these, yes. you know that when you paint onto acetate, yeah. with a water-based product, the acetate goes no. Nope. Not going to end well, is it? No. Yeah. Nah. It's not, uh, acetate says no. Yeah. yeah. Acetate says no. But yeah. Mm. What you're thinking? But if we have the magic, the wonder of your glossy uh, highlights. It's the wonder. I'm, I'm singing it in my head, so that's exactly my reference there as well, Ben. It's terrifying. It's like we're separated at birth, Ben. Do, 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 so, do, do. Right, so now what we can do is mm. we can mix these glossy highlights in with the ink, and now, now when you paint it on, it stays exactly where you want it to stay. How much have you popped down there? Is it just like a pea-sized amount of the glossy just highlights? Just a teeny little, like a... Uh, half a pea. Half a pea. Half a pea size, yeah? yeah? But look, you can even shade with it. So if we say we'll pop a little bit of this, you don't want to dilute it down. You're only diluting it with a glossy accents, okay? Not with water. If you dilute it with water, it'll not, it'll lose its clingability. So we'll pop that now. See how we literally can paint it on? It's going, though, it's behaving nicely. And no way would that stay on there if we just try to paint it on with just water it just would think you were being a bit silly it's not going to happen it's mm -hmm. not my job not what i'm meant to do this i've done obviously with glossy accents if you haven't used it before you can um, use it to create um, emphasis with an accent by literally just squeezing um, out of the tube and letting it dome over something like you know you might want a little um a, a little embellishment on your card and make that a focal point but this is not the usual use for this. It's just something I came up with a lot of years ago. So clever. When I was using another similar product and I haven't had anything like this to play with for ages. And I thought, oh, I have to tell them to do this because it's just such a good little thing, a little trick to do. Would you then, once you've coloured this, would you then just leave that to sort of dry? Just let it dry, naturally? yep, let yeah. it dry. And, um, and that's all great. So we'll pop a little bit of the green. So it's the same deal. Pop a little bit of that, a little bit of your um, glossy accent, um, glossy highlights, mm -hmm. pop that there. Just a tiny little bit. Don't put any more out than you think you're gonna need. Yeah. And it's just a teeny little um, you know, demonstration. So we don't need much of that at all. Just to then show you how we can you know, just go ahead and colour. And, and obviously, and you've just picked up on this now, I don't know if you join late, so obviously Sheena's using the uh, the glossy highlights here to be able to achieve this on, Absolutely. on the acetate, yeah. Absolutely, onto acetate. And what you want to do is you need to um, definitely clean your mat up when you've done this because that stuff sticks. Yeah. So before you do anything else, when this is drying, clean this off and then you would show it on that side of your card or you could look through it and then look at how vibrant and shiny that is. And it's so pretty. Really lovely. So, so clever. As I said, I'd never seen anything like that until three weeks ago when you showed us. Yeah, it's um, a good little extra little, a little thing there. Yeah. yeah. Well, you nearly went all uh, Mrs. Miller then for a second. A what, a little Mrs. Miller? A little, or, a little or thing. Julia yeah. Child. A Julia Child. <laughs> Glossy highlights on a card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with you next Wednesday, but when, we, uh, when we're back together in a fortnight, I want you to do the whole three shows. The whole three shows in this time. Yes. Stroke Mrs. Miller. Stroke Mrs. Three. Miller, yeah. yeah. We, we were saying earlier that we think, we believe that they may be being the same person. Yes. If you know Mrs. Miller, it could be Julia Child Sings. Yeah. I'm disappointed that everyone knew Julia Child, but I've had no comments come through that you guys knew about Mrs. Miller, so... <sighs> I've, that's that's my one disappointment of the day uh but there we go into every life and and all that uh if you want to get the glossy highlights three pack um 958 11 dollars 18 you pay for two you'll get the third one for free within this bundle um awesome says colin pasali i missed the first show showing this acetate uh, acetate well that's not easy to say mm. acetate technique wow 
Um, well, now you've seen it. Marvellous. Um, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we are going to do a bit of our, um, you've seen this before on Beautiful Beginnings, Essentials Corner, uh, where we have a bit of a sit down, a bit of a chit, chit chat. Um, about some items that we've got on the show. So we're going to talk about um, some of the essential items that we've got on this particular show. However, it is a great opportunity right now to get any questions that you'd like to ask. I know there's one coming from um, Patricia, which we'll tackle in just a few moments' time. But if you have a burning question and you want to ask it, um, send those in. We've got Grace on the socials tonight, so she will pass those uh, over to us. Uh, and we'll get them answered in Essentials Corner, which we'll do very, very shortly indeed. But in the meantime, if you have items in your basket, get to the checkout, particularly that uh, of the day that is going to of course uh, run out come eight o'clock tomorrow morning so if you like the look of that grab that and we'll come back in about three or four minutes time a few weeks ago on the show we were talking about places where all you guys live well, we might have used google earth just to have a bit of a sneaky look at the village town or city that you lived in and i thought it might be quite funny if i wrote a little ditty and i put on my facebook page where do y'all live and all 50 towns and cities and village into my little song but I didn't realize that there would be about 425 responses So I'm gonna cram as many places into this song as I can But I won't get them all in We craft everywhere, man We craft everywhere From over here to there, man We craft everywhere In crafters we've got our share, man We craft everywhere we crafted in Lydney, Limbrook, Launceston, Lehanna, Tampa, Darlington, Armour Beach, Sedalia, Wills Point, Witness, Wildwood, Wildham, Archie, Tackle Lake, Walker, Burn, Yate, Bear, Hesperia, Sublimity, Pinho, Avon, Freeport, Mableton, San Jose, Adam Club, Great Bend, Detroit, Penistone. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. Crafting Parachute, Paradise, Pilots, Moor, Papillion, Sheets at Basin, Petersburg, Seacombe, Sutton, Saturday, Bristol, Brighton, Brooklyn, Blackwell, Barnsley, Tide Street, South Shields, Tampa Hills, and Bentley, Tampa Villa, Tucum, Cary, Ottawa, Hull, Harrisburg, Lexington, Tupelo, Cincinnati, Austinburg. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. We craft in Luxahatchee, Lakesville, Lawrence, Lacey, Livermore, Albuquerque, Wikiwashi, Pentecost, Mount Elsmore Park, Mechanicsburg, Williamsburg, Rebello, Houston, Burlington, Wet Wang, Market, Drayton, Yelm, Effort, Wellington, Wapaka, Nita, Homer, Sassa, Santa Rosa, Wichita, Honolulu, Riverdale, Melbourne, Cumber, Spinton, now we craft everywhere, man, we craft everywhere, from over here to there, man, we craft everywhere, in crafters we've got our share, man, we craft everywhere. Grafton, Newton, Abbott, Newton, Abbey, Richmond, Dudley, Georgetown, East Kilbride, Eugene, Farron, Bramlett, Walkerstown, New Ohio, Fort Wayne, Gloucester, Chester, Long Beach, and Raphael, St. Dominic, St. Cloud, St. Augustine Beach, Sand Springs, Romford, Tulsa, Traverse City, Wesley Chapel, Ballarat, Medina, Rampo City. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. Grafton, Sarbrook, and Tucson, Kishami, Philadelphia, Chicago, Las Vegas, Biloxi, Lafayette, Elmira, Glendale, Scottsdale, Anchorage, and Hurtville, Seattle, Gold Canyon, Ipswich, Cumberland, Union, Bill, Toledo, Miami, Atlanta, Cleveland, Gold Canyon, Altoona, Kalunda, Port Orange, Club, Rising Sun. We craft everywhere, man. We craft everywhere. From over here to there, man. We craft everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We craft everywhere. And there's a few more places I didn't manage to get into the song. West Runton, Newcastle, Kingswood, Sandbach, Carlisle, Cook, Butley, Albury, Durham, Springfield, Ashington. We craft in Greenville, Lincoln, Nebraska, Sumter, Oak Park, Winchester, Nap Hill, Stoke on Trent, Mount Pocono, Greenville, Charlotte, Oxon Hill, Tunbridge Wells, Modesto, Haverhill, Sierra Vista, Arathebo, Morgantown, O'Fallon, Aurora, Black Forest. We craft in Hermiston, Brownsburg, Henderson, Sakara, Fort Myers, Madden, Home, Hilliard, Farmingdale, East Moline, Summers Point, Calgary, Charleston, Sawston, Malden, Galloway, Fitchburg, on Aberdeen, Winstead, Castlewood, Chatsworth, Limestone, Victoria, Willoughby, Rockland, Canton, Falmouth, Canistota, Lindahurst, Ashbourne, and Cluj, Napoca. Oh yeah. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, your home for all things craft. craft. I think we were going to do so, some... So, join join our family family craft uh, we're having a few technical gremlins. Are we going to do it? Because I'm still waiting for Sheen. Sheen is still over there. I'm sat down. So we're gonna we'll come back in a minute after this little this little break.
the hard work to, work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the, the Crafters Companion website, website to see our full crafty range. range. Or hit the shop day, day button to see, see all the new and exciting, exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it, leave it to, us to us to get your crafty, crafty goodies to you in super, super quick time. time. So, so you, you can get on with being creative. Crafters Craft Craft Companion, making, making crafty, crafty shopping, shopping a breeze. breeze. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. TV. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I feel like I've only just said that a few minutes ago. <laughs> a few gremlins in the system. Um, thank you for joining us. We've got um, just about half an hour left on this evening's Beautiful Beginnings. Can I thank you, first of all, for all the questions that you've sent in? Because we're going to um, do your questions in this next sort of 20 minutes or so. And we're also going to chat around some um, goodies that we've got, too. Um, oh, what to do? I'll tell you what, I'll read a few comments before we get started. Um, Stephanie Theodore says, Sheena and Ben, two, two souls that have found each other. And I'm so happy that they are together on Crafters TV. Oh, it reminds me of my conversations with my father-in-law during a conversation with each other. One would say something and the other would finish the... Sentences. Yep. Drive everyone in the family crazy because, of course, we would jump from one subject to another and be back at something previous but would not miss a beat. Everyone else was lost. Never us. Um, I always find, like, you know, I think when you sort of... I mean, we obviously knew each other sort of briefly in a previous yes, life. Yes, very briefly, um, yeah. We did a few shows together, and yeah. I, I think as you start working with somebody, you, your inner self comes out a little bit more. Absolutely, uh, yeah. The inner, then, the inner weirdo. Yeah, exactly. You go, yeah, great, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, We can be weird together, <laughs> uh, which is brilliant. Um, shall we yes. get the vote going first on the sure. demo of the show? Then yes. we'll do some questions, and then we'll have okay. a look at some goodies. So. so the demo of the show, number one was this card here. Yeah. That one there, that very card. This okay. really nice, quick, simple kind of colouring in. Good right. little simple technique. Yes. Shall we move on to number two? Number one, yeah. Number two is this one here. Oh. The lilac. I know. I, I like, think. Yeah, I think I know which I think one's going to be. Yeah. I know. But it's nice to have like, you know, a little bit more kind of simple and then a little bit more involved. But, um, but easy, but achievable still because we did it in real time. We did it together. Yeah. Well, you did it. Yeah. yeah, well, the Royal Wee. Yeah, the Royal Wee. There you uh, go. So one or two, I reckon one. you've got about... Or two. Do it again. One. I feel like an optician better yeah. with, with, with or without. Or without. Uh, one, one or, or with two. Did you ever think when you used to go to the opticians that yeah. they were trying to catch you out? Yes, because they like... do that. They, they, they double check again. Yeah. So they'll change it and they'll go, which one's better again? And, yeah. it, and I always think that they're trying to catch I me said, out. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what hmm. should I say here then? Yeah. I Sometimes you can't tell when they're getting close to where it's right. No. Mm. Mm. Sneaky opticians. Um, let's do some questions. Oh, great, yeah. And then we'll, we'll have a look Not at some... Not maths, of the... is it? Uh, uh, it can be. No. No, OK. First question from Syl Sparkly. Mm. Can Sheena come and live with me? Ha! If you've got, like, yeah, if you've got cake and, and chocolate, the yam there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sure. Cake and chocolate. Yeah. Um, three, three meals today, cake. Okay. Um, what other types of surfaces could you use that last technique on, says Dieter, so with the um, glossy highlights? Good question. 
anything that is shiny that is difficult to for something to stick to it's all plastic surfaces because that's what acetate is isn't it plastic so if you've got like a little plastic container, i mean i don't know how durable it's going to be you wouldn't wash it and use it you could do decorative things so um yeah tin plastic you'd have to protect it if you want it you know to decorative's fine mm. but not to use but to use it if it was on glass for example it would go on glass yeah, all right but you wouldn't be able to like say wash it it was not that durable oh so like when we saw earlier one the lady um is that she painted out the glass yes way. so you could do like a temporary a temporary thing on right there. yes a decorative thing a little panel a little, little hangings for ornaments for for christmas or whatever you could decorate them with yeah. that as well so anything that that normally paint doesn't stick to for sure Patricia Todd wants to know, can you use pigment ink pads instead of water reactive? Um, so I think for doing the, the, the techniques that you've done today, because she says I've got loads of the pigment pads. Um, I would say try it. Some of them aren't going to work as easily because pigment ink pads are thicker. They're not meant to be blendable and stay wet and blend over the surface the way the water reactive ones do. And they may not lift the colour as easily. But yeah, have a little try blending and um, yeah what I would say there. Okay. Um, Karen Well Sorrell wants to know, how did she, that was very posh, wasn't it? Yeah, wants to know. Karen Well Sorrell wants to know, uh, yeah. how did Sheena do that blue background on the flowers card that looked like stained glass? Um, the blue background that looked like stained glass. I don't know which card it was. No. Would it be that? No, mm. not that one. Would it be the lilac? Uh, no. Was it that? What? Oh! I know. What How loud was that? Oh! 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 I bet it was this one that looks like stained glass, doesn't it? Oh, uh, that does look like stained glass. Yes. Blue so, background. So there's no background colour, it's just white cord. Ah. But what I did was I cut out the, um, the Centura Pearl Black and stuck it with your tacky glue so it was really well bonded to the background, to the white cord, so the, um, the watercolour cord, and then you can drop the colour in because that acts then as like a border so that the colour doesn't, one colour doesn't run into the next flower. Really easy to colour in that way. Okay. That would be the one there. Yeah. Um, Anne says, any hints? Oh, I can tell you. Any hints what's launching on Friday? I think tomorrow is the Bohemian Collection. Oh, I can't answer that one. I can do that one. Yeah. Tomorrow, is, tomorrow is the Bohemian nice. Collection. Uh, tomorrow at 2. Oh, also tomorrow, 6 o'clock, 1 o'clock Eastern, we have got a uh, right royal knees up of a cartload. Right royal knees up it is. Oh. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Uh, red, white, well, and blue. Will I would imagine there will be bunting, uh, lots of red, white and blue, lots of uh, deals fit for a king and queen. Will you have the coronation elf present? The coronation elf? Yeah, you were mentioning earlier that um, Craig was, had a, was supposed to be, a, but he looked a bit more like the, you have to have the coronation elf. Has that, has that video not come to the set? Is that not around then yet? Not, you've not been sent that through? Oh, okay. Um, we did, well, hopefully tomorrow we'll have that, and you'll be, you will be we able to, to see, able to see that. About. Yeah. Yep, cool. um, Friday we have got the launch of some new nesting dies, um, so that's what's coming up on Friday. No, as far as uh, well, I hope it's the uh, brand new ornate nesting dies. No, it's not. Oh, it's not apparently. Oh, is that right? Uh, oh, it's the magazine apparently. Well, my diary uh, is is wrong oh so um crafters tv says roseanne carbone i have a question what yes. ink pad do i use to stamp with when working with acrylic paint ink pad when working with acrylic paint you know what um last week i was using um an opaque ink pad because you're going to paint over the line the line isn't going to feature when you're mm. using your um, acrylic because acrylic is opaque. Yeah. It's thick. The way you apply it, you're going to want to lose that line. So really, you're going to paint slightly larger than the line that's there so that it doesn't feature at all. So anything that's going to be temporary and just enough for you to see to then paint over. So an opaque ink pad, um, if it's a black, for example, you could use a paler opaque ink pad, any colour, just so you can see it, paint over it. That's it. Excellent. And um, well, we've got the result for the demo of the show. We'll do that in a second. We can go on to just um, start talking about some of the items that we've got here because um, question about the um, watercolour pad. Yes. Because, and it's a good question as well. So we've got the watercolour pad. We've also got our watercolour cardstock as well. Right, okay. Um, 
Any difference? The only difference I can think, I think this is thicker actually, the watercolour pad. It is. This is, this is more like a, um, an artist watercolour card. Yeah. With an artist watercolour card, it has to do certain things. It has to be a certain weight for a start. It has to have, um, if it's cellulose based, which means it's pulp based with um, paper, yeah. basically, uh, or it can be cotton based. But either way, it's been formulated to. Um, work really well with a water-based product um, rather than a, an aesthetic it's r it's the basis of the whole card yeah so it means that when you when you use for example your watercolors on it it'll um, it makes the colors look more vibrant certain cards it's really weird because certain cards actually um, will dull the I've, I've tested so much card in the past yeah um, and literally done the same techniques with the same inks on every bit of card and some cards it's weird it's like it's it's grabbed the color and you can't see the color it's disappeared it's made it really dull others show it really vibrant this will show the colors you've seen how intense the yeah. colors are today i've been using that's down to the card also it allows the paint to move across the surface um, it's got really low if no chalk content in that which means that um, it's really it, it's forgiving mm. you know when you try to, when you if you put your like your pens down you put some ink down or you you put a few brush strokes down and then you'll say like blend it out with water and you go it's going nowhere it's not you it's the cord the cord if it's got chalk in it will fix it if you think the most extreme chalk laden cord you, I know of is with your inkjet printer. Uh, okay. So you know an inkjet printer has got yep. that coating on it. Mm -hmm. It feels so chalky, doesn't it? Mm. And that's the reason is it's the, the ink. As soon as it hits that, it's grabbed into the core of that chalk surface, and it goes nowhere. That's not what you want. You want the opposite to that, and that's what this is. It allows the paint to move. It allows you to full bleach. You. Just try it. I, th I think it's great. And by the way, we've got the details up on the screen there for you of the uh, collection. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it is a two-pack, so you get 40 sheets in total. You pay for one, and then we give you the second at half price. So £16.78 or $19.18. I think more than anything, it's been very handy that you've kind of put your seal of approval on this. Because I guess, that, especially if you're starting off, it can probably be a bit of a minefield it, as to absolutely. working out. Because, I mean, not only have you got to think about pens, oh. um, but the paper as well. And you think, well. oh, God, it's just, yeah. it's just my card. My card's fine. I'm not going to get excited at a, a bit of my card. I want to be excited about some pretty ink colours. Yeah. Or a, a nice stamp or a nice dye. But it's essential. We keep, I've said it again. Uh, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Our watercolour artists, top priority, brushes, uh, paints or card. Mm. Card. Cards. Don't compromise on the card. Get best cards you can afford, then the paint, then the brushes. I love it. Don't don't compromise on the card. Don't compromise on the card. Get the very best. And what a chance to grab this today as well at that price. Mm. Um, just before we uh, carry on look at some more tools, let's do the result for the demo of the show and then we can get the result. Did you bring the other? Oh, you did, I yes. I have them here. We could do demo of the, sh the day then. So of the, dem of the show. Demo of the show first. Is um, one. Yep. Or yep. two. What do you reckon's one? I think it's two. In a landslide. Really? Yes. Yeah. I thought you two. would like two. Number yeah. two. That's pretty two. Yeah. So thank you for all your votes. Now we need to get the other two mates so from earlier. Two. So here we go. Oh, this is going to be. This was. Tough. It might be tricky, I know. Mm. Yeah. So all right. the first short well, number one was from this morning, the Daisy. That's gorgeous. Daisy there. We did a little bit of background technique with the um, inks there, showing you how you can use wet into wet technique to give it a, a background when it's a white flower. Yeah. It makes the white look white then. See? So that was one. I feels like it was yesterday. Then we, then we did, yeah. And then we did the berries. Oh, this is amazing. So we did a background with the inks, really easy for bleaching a few clouds, and then stamped the berries, the paint fusion berries, and without and colour them in using the ink pads. All that was done with the um, water reactive ink pads. Yep. And then, well, this one we've just done. That one you know about. We've just seen that one. One, two, or three. You've got about five minutes. I think that's going to be a tougher vote, if I'm being mm. honest, because I'm, I'm a big fan of two there. Are you? Yeah, yeah. two was nice, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, lots of techniques and stuff in there. So, yeah, just really wanted to mix it up today so you could see just how many different ways you could use an affordable product because you invested in your ink pads for your stamping, for your blending your backgrounds, but colour with them too. Brilliant. Um, I'll ask this question, and I know I, I know I did ask you this in the, in the in one of the breaks, which is no use because you wouldn't have heard the answer. Um, and Kendall's asked this a few times, and I, I don't think there's a specific answer to this. But um, Kendall says, Ben, what size does um, um, Sheena cut her cards to oh. before stamping and colouring? Is there a specific size that you work with, or? Oh, 
No. I said no maths. No. And I mean no numbers at all. No. I don't, uh, yeah, no. Nah. No. I have no idea. Honestly, everything's by eye by me. I work on, okay, so I usually like to work on a square format because mm. square's easier to fill that space yeah. than a than like an A5 or an A6. Um, I just find that easier. So it could be, um, you know, a 5x5, a 6x6, five five, 7x7, six seven seven, up to an 8x8 eight eight big card, but that wouldn't be the size of the painting. That would be including the matting and layering. OK. So, yeah. Um, and a question which has come through from Sue, which says, when will we see you two again with a heart? When will we see you oh. again? When will we share when precious moments? When will we moments? share precious moments? Ba -ba -da -da -da. Um, not next week. Not next week. No. I think it's zig and zag next week again. Zig and zag, yeah. It is. Smashy and nicey, zig and zag. All right, great mate. Waldorf and Stadler. <laughs> Waldorf and Stadler. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I hate Bert it. And Ernie. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Yes. We have many. Yeah. That's uh, Leanne and I next week again. Okay. Yeah. And then I think, I can check my diary. Uh, it is the week the after. week after. We're back together. 17th. Yay. So that will be, that will be fun. Lovely. Um, so yes, that's when that is going to be, going to be happening. Loved all these questions. Um, let's have a look at some other goodies that we've got on this table in Essentials Corner. Fabulous. So, a um, bit of a smorgasbord of um, yeah. crafty goodies here because what we've put together is a blending tool collection. Mm. So um, this is it, six piece blending tool collection. Um, comes with uh, your blending tools, your craft mat. There's more, we'll take you all through it. £19.60 is your platinum price. $30.80 if you're shopping in the US. Um, do you want to do you want to pick and show sure, and then I'll, and I'll, ask, I'll ask questions right. about the, those, those things. blending tools there, yeah. Ben. Can you pass me those ones over? Those Thank ones there. you. And right, what, what now, got here's here? the thing. Right, this is the... Um, this is the the craft mat. Yes, I, I would know it's a non-stick craft mat. Mm. Okay, now a lot of people don't realise that these are kind of they go hand in hand. Yeah. All right. I have seen many a show. Now you know when I said I was in New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. I was using things like this in New Jersey, and what happens is. Um, they've become such a popular product that we've used them since then many 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 years ago but sometimes we forget to give the reason that we're using them yeah and yeah why they're used together so let me start with these so these sponges here and these sponges and this this so if you think of them all as a type of foam yes just different ways to apply the the ink to the surface of the cord not to the core of the cord the surface so a, a, an ink that has a long open time is the technical term which basically means it takes a long time to dry and gives you time to move it across the surface so to do that you need to apply it and what you want is a foam like both of these that isn't super absorbent okay if you just used a regular sponge it would you'd be applying the the applicator to your ink pad and it would be just taking up all the ink out your ink pads so yeah. now you've got two ink pads not what we want yeah so what you want is this this to just sit the ink enough just to sit on the surface of it that's why it's dense you'll feel it's very it's a dense fo uh, foam a sponge mm. on each that's to blend then just a small amount onto the surface of the cord and you may know that but not a lot of you know that about the different the sponge and why it is but it's part of another process so when you do for example that vignette look that i did around the outside of that oh cord, yes this one let me yeah. let me bear with bear with bear with that one there so i did the the black around the outside and it made the middle look really it popped didn't mm -hmm. it by making so by giving us some contrast now I started outside of the cord area with my blending ap um, applicator. It was the round one, they all work the same way. Now, if you don't use a non-stick surface behind that, what you're then doing is waste your ink again. Yeah. If you do it on a porous surface, the ink's grabbing off the applicator before it hits the cord. And I've seen people do that on TV many times, Ben. And no, they'll, put the, they'll have the mat and they'll put a bit of cord behind the surface and put your cord that you're gonna ink on and start like that. That card behind is just you're wasting your product. It's, it's grabbing all your ink. It, you've got a, a perfectly ink saturated yeah. bit of card that you're going to throw away. So don't use the card. Use your non stick surface. Start on the outside, blend in. The ink stays on your sponge, on your applicator, the dense foam, just enough to then apply to your card. And that's that's why the or the or in a hand in hand. If you've got a glass mat, you can use that instead of this now. You yeah. don't have to do it. But it's a good thing to have. If you if you're travelling, you don't know what surface is like, um, 
you know, if you want to keep your glass mat clear as well, um, it's also heat proof, so it's a good thing to have. So you get those three items plus the replacement um, heads for your square, le square rectangle. Yep. Let's just talk about that as well because it's the age old question. Yep. I know we've got the yep. square slash re rectangle. Yep. Yep. Is there, a, are there pros and cons of using that over, say, the circular one? I, my go to are the circular ones right. more often than not because they're a little bit more, um, I can be a bit more careful on the application. But these ones are great if you want to add a lot of colour down fast. And mm. also, if you want to do that, the very first week we, we did, we did the, the rain effect. We did. That and was that's incredible. this super for the rain effect. If you haven't seen the rain effect, I don't know if you can watch them back. Yeah, you can. They're, can all, you? they're always there. Oh, are they? Mm. Always there. Well, try and check that one out because that is such a good little effect I came up with using these. You need that straight edge to really get a good um, version of that. These I love for stenciling for a little bit more um, application, um, you know, because you've got the little pointy bit and you've got the round bit. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more um, like kind of precise blending. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they're all great. You use them for different reasons. Go to for different different times. But, yeah. And as far as the replacements are concerned, yeah, do you, you have oh. one per ink? If you can. Colour. Fabulous. Yeah. But these ones, what you can do with these, Ben, because they're so big, if you're really thrifty, you can have like one colour on one oh, side, one like on the that. other. But I would say keep it to like warm colours or cool colours or yeah. close colours. So I would have like yellow and an orange. I would have a fuchsia and a red, yeah. that kind of colour. So that if they, there's a little bit of a, a, a transition in the middle where they've kind of merged, there's not a massive jarring difference. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can use them. It's a good um, little money saver that one, and, and also wash them um, as well. Still in this bundle, by the way, because this is all in in the bundle. Uh, talk to me, if you may, about, about the thing which might bray. Yeah, so brayers, yeah, brayers. Um, you can do different paint and inking techniques with brayers. You can do like a reverse stamping thing with your brayer. Um, good for, um, you know, for uh, adhering yeah. and for mixed media. Um, really good thing to have. Good thing if you use a gel plate as well um, okay. for your transfer. So, yeah, the gel plates are really good to, to use. You can ink up your brayer and create backgrounds with it. So, also good tool to have good tool to have in your kit and the other one which i believe you're yeah. seeing for the first time our, um, yes. our mixing palette oh, i got so excited you when did. i saw this because these are these are essential I, I seek these out i buy these when i can and you then this is a look this is a really nice one because it's got deep wells so yeah. if you want to mix washers and things so if you've got like a um, an inca liquid ink so a re-inca or little watercolor paint and you want to mix a large amount that's what these are for, so that you know you don't have to keep mixing um, uh, uh, the paint up again. So for a dilute amount of uh, product, also a mixed media piece and things, also good for that. But yeah, brilliant things to have these, fabulous, and that's a really nice one. I've seen other ones which aren't anywhere near as deep as this, mm. so that's a great one. Uh, that's included in your bundle. So everything we just showed you there is that uh, six-piece blending collection. Um, it should be 34 or 55, uh, but it's only 19 pounds 60 or 30 dollars 80 today with a 30 percent saving. Uh, worth bearing in mind as well. Don't forget that um, on the website right now you've still got that code that you can use. Um, obviously, uh, terms and conditions apply, but there is a 20 percent discount that you use with that code Crown 20. Um, Beth says I love that craft match. Says I used it when painting watercolor of flowers with aqua markers and it worked awesome Fabulous. Um, and a quick question from Lillian who says question for Sheena yes did you study fine art you know what well I started mm. but I didn't finish I'm not not a full shilling on that one. Oh, you know. I'm not because what I did was I was in art college. At, um, I didn't actually find art. I studied graphics. I should have done fine art because uh, graphics you don't necessarily have to draw but and that was something I could do so I started um, studying in Newcastle and then I got the opportunity when I was 19 to go to California for a year and mm -hmm. I ended up staying three and a half. And when I was there, I studied at um, UCI, University of California, Irvine and Orange Coast College, which isn't there anymore. So I did classes there, um, but didn't complete either place, but something I've always done. So there you go. That's what I did. Marvellous. Um, I didn't just randomly, well I did actually, I just walked away whilst uh, she, that was really rude of me wasn't it? Sheena's just giving the answer to that question, I uh, just 
Walked away and <laughs> left her over there. I was listening to your answer, honestly. Yeah. Uh, right, just before we uh, disappear, oh, by the way, sneaky peek for tomorrow, yeah? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, we are going to do, I think, one final um, quick, we have to be a super quick demo uh, with Sheila. I've got the result for the demo of the day as well, which we will um, do in just a second. Um, but... Let us have a uh, one final look at a uh, quick demo with um, Sheena. Um, but as I said, by the way, this is coming up tomorrow. It's the brand new uh, Bohemian, Beh I hope say it, Bohemian collection. It is stunning. It is gorgeous. There is so much to it. Um, and I think you are gonna absolutely love it. Get ready for that. Uh, Debbie and I will have that in the morning on um, wake up call first opportunity to jump in and buy it. Sarah's gonna be in, of course, for the official launch of that at two o'clock. And then um, tomorrow evening, as I've mentioned, big cartload show. We're having a bit of a, uh, a royal knees up, Debbie Robinson uh, and me. And oh, it's gonna be great. So many great deals. I've had a bit of a sneaky peek as to what we've got outside. You are gonna absolutely love it. Uh, so make sure you join us nice and early in the morning, at 11 o'clock, uh, 6 a.m. 3 a.m. Pacific uh, to see all of those great deals and snap them up because I have a funny feeling, particularly that Bohemian collection, it's going to fly out of the door. I reckon we've got about five or six minutes, Sheena. What did you want to show us in the final few yeah, modes? I thought I'd do a little bit of speed stamping with the Daisy on that lovely um, the, uh, die cut background. What was this one called? I've, I would imagine Daisy's in the title somewhere. Oh no, I'll, I will worry about that later. It's called. It's called Daisies and Dragonflies. Daisies and Dragonflies. I thought it would be there. Yay. So what I'm doing is I'm just stamping this. I've cut this out and I've stenciled through it, which is fabulous. And then I'm going to stamp this on here just a little bit. Um, the two leaves from the daisy. Speed stamping. And then uh -huh. I'm going to colour that in with inks. So you can see how pretty these are. These, these are lovely. Um, a kind of like a, a combination the two really work well together I think. yeah so we've got that I've used pumice to, to ink that up with I could actually use pumice to color in a little bit of that daisy as well in fact let's do it let's pop a little bit there and see what um, how much color we've got so just again for speed speed I'm going to pop a little bit like this onto this card just to give a little bit of shadow around the base of this daisy here uh-huh see just like that just so not much water pumice is already quite pale and because it's such a delicate we want the flower still to look white it, it's really easy to go too heavy-handed with a stronger color so it's nice to start off with a pale color like pumice um, white's difficult to paint because how do you paint white it's already it. white uh -huh. so by putting a little bit of shadow on there that's how you would do it so um, a pale blue a pale grey anything like that will give the impression yeah. of um, shadow on your flower and a little bit of depth um, and so what I'm doing is I'm looking at the little ones that are hiding behind the main ones as well and maybe you're just adding a little bit like that so now it looks much more 3D, but it still looks white. Can you see, Ben? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so that's the pumice there. That's Lovely. done. We'll add a little bit of the um, centre done there with a little bit of this honey uh, pot. Now, this is really strong, and we've, we've gone really quite delicate with the colour there, so I'm going to use it quite pale, yeah? We can always darken it up. There's a little bit there. I've actually picked up a little bit of pumice in with that, and what it's done is it's just muted down that yellow a little bit. So a little bit around the outside, then a little bit of water and then it makes it look a little bit kind of domed, yeah, instead of flat. We'll use a little bit of the grasshopper uh -huh. and the same kind of treatment. So we'll give it a little stem, so we'll use it quite um, strong and we'll maybe paint a little thing going through and like this, like that. So this is where you want a bit of a steady hand. Just anchor your hand on the table and that'll be a way to keep it steadier. And then we'll pop a little bit a paint like this so again just using a little bit of paint and then some water to drag so darker underneath yes the petals like this and then just water to pull that out because it looks really pretty very pale and quite ethereal that quite delicate yeah that's I've just I've just tweaked this on so that's the dye from the three in one isn't it credit it is, cards which yes. is on the um shop the day page yes um 
Yeah, the one that we featured earlier. Yes. The show, yeah. The and uh, the bundle. It's in the bundle. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. So just popping that there, and again, just darker at the base of the um, of the the leaves, like the little bit where the light would be less. Um, you know, it wouldn't be shining on that bit. Yeah. Um, then here, under there. Tell you what, that is speed painting speed at its painting, best, there, isn't, isn't it? it? Seriously. Absolutely. But it, it just shows you doesn't yeah. have to take ages. You know, you don't have to labour over it if it's good product you're using, a good little technique, and then you're done. Fab. I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, if you've loved anything on the shows today, make sure you hit the uh, the shop the day button. Uh, the pick of the day is still available for you. Those three in one creator cards, which is where that frame is from, also still available, um, and tons more. Uh, lots of people chatting about the Bohemian collection that we've got coming up tomorrow as well. Uh, but the demo of the day, let's get that done before we disappear. What do you reckon it was, Sheena? I think it might be the lilac. Oh, it's, it's going to be the lilac, or it's going to be the berries, I think. It is, yeah. Yeah. I'm writing the one. I'll say lilac. Berries. Oh, berries. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. There very, you go. very the nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, that was good fun. So, what, if you didn't see that, watch our back. That was in the uh, Colour Me Happy show. Yeah. Wasn't it? two o'clock this afternoon yeah. um, just head on to YouTube or indeed just go back on the Facebook page from earlier what a fantastic day thank you so much Sheena I thoroughly enjoy being with you again it's been a lovely day yeah thank it's you, been great everybody. and are you coming back next Wednesday sure am yeah zig and zag zig and zag yep. smashy and nicey yeah uh, it's Leanne with Sheila next Wednesday, so it's going to be fantastic. Uh, and I'll be back with you, of course, tomorrow. As I mentioned, Debbie's going to be here with me in the morning uh, to officially uh, kick off Thursday with that sneaky peeky preview of uh, this full collection. Uh, and then, of course, we've got Sarah in for the official launch at 2. And then tomorrow, 6 o'clock, we get ready to celebrate the coronation with our very own uh, right royal knees up of a cartload. It's going to be great. Massive thank you to all the team today. It's been uh, a really, really fun day particular thanks to uh, Sheena for all of her uh, demonstrations inspiration techniques tips and uh, expertise we've thoroughly loved it thank you guys for watching it as well uh, do continue to shop and we will see you tomorrow here on crafters tv until then bye for now